all right welcome to another new video on uh, the passing uh, of surah 98 which is surah al bayyina uh, which means uh, the clear evidence okay now the first like three or four verses we have gone through last week in zoom uh, but since we didn't have a video last week so i'm going to uh, also record uh, uh, the grammar of those three to four verses and then I'm going to continue with uh, verses five and six if there's time okay so let's go uh, okay so the first three and four verses would be faster in than usual because we have gone through uh, them last week all right so lam يَكُونِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ وَالْمُشْرِكِينَ مُنْفَكِّينَ حَتَّى تَأْتِيَهُمُ الْبَيِّنَةِ Now, if you... One way to help you to easily uh, understand this verse, understand the grammar of this verse, is to see the meanings first, okay? So, the meanings would be um, the ones who disbelieve uh, among the people of the book and the mushrikeen were not abandoned or are not abandoned until clear evidence comes to them okay so let's uh, analyze this grammatically so lam would be a particle of negation okay and yakun uh, would be the verb so this particle of negation kills the verb all right a verb needs a subject of verb which usually comes right after it subject of verb okay now you may say that the subject of verb in terms of meaning is the whole thing let me underline that the whole thing from al ladina until al mushrikin and you are correct but in grammar we just choose the first one in this case the phrase al ladina until mushrikin we just choose the first phrase as the subject of verb okay uh, that is grammar in Arabic. And then you have verb next and uh, kafaru. Uh, that will be straightforward. Verb and subject of verb. Okay. So let's write that again. Verb and subject of verb. Therefore, it pushes. And then you have mean, uh, which is preposition and object of preposition. P and O O P. Okay, I'm going to go faster because we've gone through this. And then Ahlil Kitab, that is a pair also. Okay, drags being dragged there. And uh, wow will be a particle of conjunction, and Al Mushrikin will be the follower because it's about Min Ahli uh, among the people of the book and the Mushrikin. So you just make it follow. It, it follows Ahlil Kitab, but you know, in grammar, it just follows the first word. Um, it's a follower conjunction by the way and then you have Munfakin alright so okay here I, I need to change something which is uh, when you have Kana or Yakun okay it's a verb right it's a flipper verb so you have whatever comes after it's subject of nominal not subject of verb and then you have a predicate of nominal which is here okay so and therefore you have uh, kana or yakun uh, pushes the subject of nominal and lifts the predicate of nominal there. All right. So now let's move on. Hatta would be particle of preposition, particle of preposition, and then tatia. Now this hatta I'm going to explain in zoom a bit more on this. Uh, but for now let me just say that this hatta is preposition right so a preposition uh, should um, make what after it an object of preposition okay but then a verb comes after it so that's a verb here uh, with the subject of verb which is clear evidence and then the object of verb here okay let's do the arrows first okay <coughs> now when you have a preposition here, you have to have a, an object of preposition which comes out straight, which is a noun, but this is a verb. When that happens, you take all the verb, the verbal structure, and you call it, you call it the object of preposition 
in the drag position um, in the drag position uh, dragged by the preposition okay but but here's the thing this tatia tatia is lifted you see so it's a present tense which is lifted so now preposition hatta drags okay but here it is lifted so what's happening here i'll explain more in zoom okay so so i, I think i've explained this uh, uh, partly in zoom last week but i'm going to explain again to tell you why there is uh, this double force here double force as in this there's a drag force here there's a drag force here and then there's a lift force here because uh, by default present tense should be uh, should be what should be uh, pushed right and if this is pushed it should be that to you that to you but it's a wiki right so it should be that to but then why is it lifted and have a fatha more on that later okay and then we established last week that the rasulun rasulun is a badal sorry a an elaboration of al bayina right so therefore we say follower elaboration for al bayina therefore the arrow goes back to al bayina there and then you have mean allah preposition object of preposition this is quite straightforward and then yetu suhufan wa tahara a verb and then there's um, an implied he there which is subject of verb this is object of verb with the arrows going that way and then suhufan sorry mutahara is um, uh, describing suhufan so it becomes a follower adjective follow adjective therefore the arrow goes back to that okay now uh, min the link for min would be rasul okay it can be linked to something else which is implied but that's too advanced so you just make it simple so you just link it to you link it to rasul okay um uh all right so next we'll go to the next verse okay this verse we have also done this fiha prepositional phrase here okay and then uh, kutubun even though it's it comes after a post which is fiha uh, we can say it is a, a subject of nominal if it comes in front you say al kutubu as in definite if it's in front it has to be definite but if it's after a post it can be non-definite and it is described here as qayma valuable so this is a follower adjective for that okay so so uh but the translation will be uh, valuable writings are in them so there is there is an r here so you can imply that the the r would be here okay or in fact if you use a sequence then the r should be here right so kutub al qayyimah would be in front and then the r would be there but then we just put it here um for convenience sake so so that it's just beside the predicate of nominal therefore the subject of nominal pushes the predicate of nominal all right so done with um, verse number three now we go to number four so number four um well we'll just take it as um, particle of resumption uh continuing the story but not really translated um when the ma means not so particle of negation and then you have the verb here the verb here so split did not split who did not split the ones who so now the ones who now the meaning wise the ones who were given the book did not split or did not become divided that is in terms of meaning in terms of grammar you just take the first one to be the subject of verb uh, for tafarraqa or split okay all right so ma watches tafarraqa verb tafarraqa pushes the ladina okay u2 would be they were given this is a passive 
therefore uh, instead of they becomes the subject of verb it becomes a deputy subject of verb and u2 becomes the verb itself what were they given that's the object of verb right al kitab al kitab was given so um let's do the arrows there arrows there and we're done illa would be a particle of exception exception uh, usually what comes after it is a lifted noun and not in this case so we just uh, ignore that uh, lifted noun there isn't any so mean would be preposition preposition what comes after it will be object of preposition which is body now same as mean qabli when you have mean qabli mean body it just mean qabla and bada uh, the mean is sort of a an extra that okay so so in terms of uh, all right wait uh, uh, we go back to alladina alladina utul kitab so because alladina utul kitab means one thing the ones who were, who were given the book so the ones who and they is referring to the same thing right because this is a relative structure so we say this verbal structure is related to the the uh, alladina okay what we mean by that is in the verbal structure there is uh, a day here there is something which is related to a ladina that's why we we put back the arrow there just to just to close the gap there okay all right and then uh, illa mm. illa is just a watcher to mean illa is just a watcher to mean so we we don't put anything there so mean body mm. so mean body so from before mm, aladi uh, ma sorry ma ma means what okay ma means what now here's the thing ma this ma is a relative noun like aladina so aladina is a relative noun or relative pronoun okay so i'll just write the rpn relative pronoun uh, which means the same thing what the one who whatever else uh, and remember when you have a relative pronoun you have to find off something after it which refers to it and then you put an arrow to it all right so uh will be the verb and then you have the object of verb which is home and then albaina subject of verb so the verb goes like that okay okay now let's do the um uh okay um now uh with uh okay so the preposition mean here mean here would be the arrow would be going to object of preposition now whenever you have badi ma qabli ma so it's a noun plus noun noun plus noun and it's a possessive so so you just put here it is a possessive okay it is a possessive so the arrow goes like that okay now now uh, relative structure right so relative noun this is relative noun whatever comes after it which is the verbal structure okay we call it a relative structure ma as in the whole thing ma ja'at humur bayna is the relative structure likewise alladina utul kitab is the relative structure for that one okay so let's see this what is reflected in which word here is it reflected to them or is it reflected to clear evidence now it is re referring to clear evidence right the what is referring to clear evidence therefore we say um, uh, this v as uh, the what uh, the what is referring to the, the ma sorry the bayina is referring to the ma which means one of them goes out okay now usually we cancel the second one right like the, in this case we cancel the day but here if we cancel the clear evidence then the translation would not be coherent uh, so we cancel the what here so you don't translate the what because it refers to the clear evidence so the translation will be after clear evidence came to them came to them so that's verse number four let's go to the next verse 
let's go to the next oh wait before we go to the next verse um the mean was the was the link to the mean okay so the mean means from after clear evidence came to them is it they were given the book from after clear evidence came to them no right they split from after uh, uh, the uh, clear evidence came to them so this mean would would uh, as a pp as a pp prepositional phrase would be linked to tafarraqa okay or you just put arrow down here to tafarraqa that's the link okay verse number five now verse number five is wana umiru so wa uh, let's take it as a resumption and then uh, they they were not asked okay so ma means not so negation here and then you have a verb umiru they uh, were not asked um okay so there's a word here which means is ue right ue which means it's a passive ue there so uh, this is a verb and then it just becomes deputy subject of verb so they were not asked except so except will be a particle of exception okay um liabudu liabudu now li is a li, li is a preposition okay li is a preposition now it's also called a rational particle here but we'll take it as a preposition because i'm going to want to explain something here briefly and then in zoom uh, uh, a more complete explanation um li here is a preposition uh, but it means so that okay but this preposition comes before a verb right so so when when li comes before a verb it means so that okay and that's a verb after it and then they worship so verb subject of verb like that okay now um and then allah would be they worship allah object of verb okay now let's do this um there's a vs here there's a verbal structure here remember you have like just now hatta ta'tiyahumul bayina hatta is preposition okay a preposition is an object of preposition what comes after it should be a noun but here it's a verb therefore you take the whole verbal structure as the object of preposition okay dragged by the preposition that's how you do it okay um that's that's one uh, but i'm going to I explain something here a bit here now yeah budu if you see there's an alif here this alif was initially a noon so because when you say they worship you add wow and noon you add wow and noon the day comes from the wow the noon is just uh, the noon is just uh, uh, a helping noon uh, to indicate that this is a present tense okay so you have ya uh, in past tense you don't have a noon okay now this 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 present tense you know you have a noon um, the noon stays put okay but when li comes before it okay the li although it's a preposition it lifts the the verb after it okay so when a verb with a noon is lifted the noon goes away and that that's that's how the noon disappears because it is lifted by li but why is li a lifter when it is a preposition okay more more on that when we talk about it in zoom all right done done and um what about the uh, this is a prepositional phrase right budu. so it's linked to the verb before it which is umiru okay all right so hmm. mukhlisin now mukhlisin means sincerely 
sincerely now it doesn't literally mean sincerely it means uh, so it's from mukhlis one who is sincere or one who who purifies it is because khalasa means pure and akhlasa means to purify mukhlis one who purifies but then they they translate it to sincerely for for convenient translation uh, so so you have it sincerely then therefore it's hal it's it's a state right so it's a state state of who state of those who worship therefore you you put an arrow back to back to they which is this one okay as a state all right so that is um so we continue with with verse number five in this slide which is lahuddina hunafa wa yuqimu salata wa yu'tu zakata wa dhalika deenu al-qayyimati okay so we'll do this in five minutes okay and then we'll stop and then we'll continue in verse six uh in zoom um so lahu lahu is preposition and then the pronoun after it right so it becomes preposition and object of preposition like that okay so uh and the this is the prepositional phrase it goes back to mukhlisin okay so i'm going to write hang on i'm going to write mukhlisin because it is uh, linked so sincerely to him or for him <coughs> um so it goes back it's linked to mukhlisin all right so and then we have adina now and i'm going to i'm going to postpone adina at the end of this verse okay i'm going to do hunafa first so so you have mukhlisin and then you have hunafa which means upright simply upright but it, it means more than that actually but we just take it as upright uh, you see it's lifted right lifted um and then um, it describes the state of uh, the the ones who worship right so it so you say it's a state state and then the arrow would would go to arrow will go to the wow which is they in yaburu okay which is in the previous slide all right let's go let's move forward so you have one this is conjunction particle conjunction now now look at this yuki mu Okay, this is a present tense. We have a wow, usually you have a noon at the back. So it's, it's, it should be yuqimuna or originally yuqimuna. And then you have yuqimuna and then you have yuqtuna. So, so, but because, because this conjunction, okay, goes back, goes back to uh, uh, li'abudu. So li'abudu, the noon goes away. Therefore, yuqimuna. Also, the noon goes away. So li'abudu, wa yuqimu, wa yuqtu. So you have those three. So yuqimu is a verb, and then this is a subject of verb, and then we say that this verbal structure follows follows the um, is is a follower conjunction for li'abudu, which is in the previous slide. That will go that will be the same also for you to you to uh, so all this would, would would follow so we will say that you to would follow yuqimu and then yuqimu follows ya'budu and asalata that would be object of verb that's quite straightforward okay and then you to zakata that will be object of verb there okay and then uh, it's kind of the end of the sentence and then you have a uh, beginning so this is sort of a beginning so we'll just say that wa is a particle of resumption and then the noun the first noun that comes it becomes a subject of nominal and then dinul uh, qayyimah so that is the religion of truth okay now we call this predicate of nominal. Why is this predicate of nominal even though it is not uh, definite? Now, by the way, it is definite. You know why? Because it is uh, 
uh, the first word of a possessive structure you see that equation there this is a possessive and when this noun is a possess uh, is uh, is a possessive to this and the second word of the possessive has an al so you add a the here and then you add an is there that is the region of truth okay so now uh, uh, the arrows would be going like that um, yep that's it um, um, ah, Adin so Adin will be the last one um, if you remember we talk about Mukhlisan um, Lahuddin uh, uh, in Surah Zumar Surah 38 or Surah 39 once we talk about that and we say that like Adina is a noun lifted so if the nouns usually are uh, object of verb right but here you don't see an object of verb and then we say that we say that even a derived noun can work on behalf on of the verb and therefore have an object of verb and in this case mukhlisin so it becomes object of verb to mukhlisin okay so we are done with verse number five so we have done with um, verses 1 to 5 for Surah al -Bayina. the rest um, we will do uh, in Zoom. Thank you for watching and see you in Zoom.